What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to the very first episode of our Pokemon Unova Red walkthrough. Now, this is kind of surprising to me because I didn't know that there was a Unova Red walkthrough in existence and all that stuff, and look at this. Everything was taken from Unova and put into the Gen 1 motor right here, so let's go ahead and uh, start taking care of some business right here. Now, before we do anything, let's go ahead and just pick up the tech speed and all that stuff okay everything's good let's go right ahead and start this new game right here so as you can see it starts off just like the regular Pokemon Red Walk right here where you have Professor Oak saying hello there welcome to the world of Pokemon my name is Oak people call me the Pokemon Professor this world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon as you can see we got you Nova Pokemon right here they're being replaced by, you know, different kinds of Pokemon and all that stuff. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself, obviously, I study Pokemon as a profession. First, what is your name? Okay, so, as you guys already know, I'm going to name myself the legendary name around YouTube and all that stuff in Gen 1 as well. And uh, call myself Draven right here. Yes, my name is Draven, and of course, we're going to be taking on our rival right here. He has been my rival since the day I was a baby, and well, of course, he forgot his, he forgot the name of the kid. So, we're just going to go with Gary right here. Now, yes, he remembers it's Gary and all that stuff. And well, he's going to be like, Draven, your very own legend is about to unfold. The world of uh, dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. So let's go. Alrighty guys, so here we are in Pokemon Unova Red. Now this is taking the Pokemon Red version motor and made into a hack game. Now this is all part of our, you know, Summer of Hacks kind of a special right here. Yeah, we got a whole summer. I might as well show you guys a few uh, hack games while I'm at it. I don't know what I don't know what got me to this one. Actually, I know what got me to it. Uh, I was actually in the mood of watching some hack games going around. Especially uh, Pokemon Brown, as many of you guys already know, it's already up on my uh, my channel right here. And, well, I kind of figured that maybe, just maybe, I should start featuring some more hack games right here on my channel since the main games are going well, covered most of them, we are Pokemon Brown, or Pokemon Moon and all that stuff. So, we already know what's going on right here. I'm going to go step in the grass because I kind of don't want to, like, prolong this whole thing right here. Now, how I found Pokemon Unova Red was, uh, let's see, I was watching Pokemon Kalos Crystal, that's what it was, and it turns out that it was a sequel to this game right here. So, what's going to happen is that, you know, this is one of the games that I'm going to complete real quickly because, yeah, you know, it's, it's Gen 1, all that stuff. Instead, you're going to be using Gen 5 Pokemon. Now, some of the Gen 5 sprites, not very good. Yeah, it is what it is, guys, but, you know what? We got a hack game right here. We'll just, you know, enjoy the whole ride. And as you can see, Gary is still fed up with the waiting and all that stuff. And Professor Oak's like, well, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Draven. There are three Pokemon here. <laughs> they are all inside Pokeballs. Uh, when I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. In my old age, I, was, I have only three left, but you can have one. Choose. And Gary, of course, wants to be all jealous and all that stuff. So... Let's go right ahead and start choosing our Pokemon. Now, in Unova, as you probably already know, there are three starter Pokemon. One being a Snivy, the Grass Snake Pokemon. They are the photosynth, uh, the photosynth by bathing their tails in the light. It uses vines more deeply than its hands. Of course, its hands go away afterwards. So, we're not going to be picking up Snivy right here. As you can see, there's another one, Tab Pig, the Fire Pig Pokemon. It can dodge while shooting fire from its uh, nose. It roasts berries before eating them. That's pretty cool. Very, very cool stuff right there. And then we got the next Pokemon right here. Our good old buddy, Oshawott. As you guys probably already know, we had them. Or we had this guy. Uh, yeah, we had this. We, we, we started with this Pokemon in Pokemon Black. As you can see, it's a sea otter. It fights using the Skele or Skel Skelcup? I can't even see. I can't even pronounce that. On its stomach. It responds to an attack by slashing. Okay, so there is a nice choice, as you know, you guys already know. I've already chosen Oshawa in the Pokemon Black game, and I'm just gonna give you guys a heads up right here. I'm not gonna choose Snivy right now because uh, <laughs> I kind of want to challenge myself a little. So let's go right ahead and pick up 
Tampig right here because eventually it evolves into a fire and fighting type Pokemon. So there it is. That's right. We have picked up Tampig. And well, let's go right ahead and give it a nickname right here. Hmm. What kind of a nickname should I give it? Well, Baconator's already taken because if you guys have seen my Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough, I already have a Baconator. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oinkinator. I don't know. Actually, you know what? In this game right here, I'm probably not going to be nicknaming any of the Pokemon because, uh... Eh, screw it. I'm going to nickname this Pokemon anyways. Let's go right ahead. And let's see, let's see. What would be a good one? What would be a very, very good one? I think Oinkinator would be a good one. So let's go ahead and go with Oink. That's right. Is that how you spell Oink? Oink. Let's see. Oink. A uh, nature. A uh, nator. Look at that. Oink. A nator. Look at that. I may have misspelled it. It really doesn't matter. So there it is, guys. We've picked. Oshawa, or not Oshawa, but Tampig. Now, of course, Homeboy here is going to be taking uh, the Pokemon that has an advantage or towards us in Oshawa, which is cool. So now, let's go right ahead and start battling some Pokemon right here. Yeah, let's check out our new Pokemon. I kind of want to see the whole uh, movement on all this stuff right here. So, here it is. Let's go. Round one. Fighting against Gary in the Unova region, I think. So here he comes out with an Oshawa. And here comes a Winkinator. Our little, uh, you know, Tepig and all that stuff. And, well, here's a few things that I kind of want to let you guys know. I don't know what secrets this game holds. I'm only going in here because, well, it has a Pokemon Red Motor and all that stuff. So, pretty much, I'm just going to, like, I'm going to assume, and I'm going to play it like if it was Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that this game will last, uh, or will, will end quickly. I'm kind of thinking that, so... Look at this, we're getting our butts kicked right now. Oshawa, you asshole. Okay, so let's go right ahead and do the more, most asshole-ish thing, and that is heal our Pokemon right here. And, well, here comes another Tail Whip attack, and, well, that's not good. And, well, here comes another Tail Whip. And, well, let's finish Oshawa off with a Tackle Attack. There we go, for the win. We grow to level 6, which is great. And just like always, we defeat Gary. He's not so happy right now. He really isn't. Alrighty, so of course he's gonna be like, yeah, I'm gonna make my Pokemon toughen up and all that stuff. See you later, or smell you later. Okay, so if this game is anything like um, the Pokemon, the Pokemon Red, it, yeah, let's see, uh, where are, I think we're in Pellet Town, right? Yes, we are in Pellet Town. So I'm assuming this game is, uh, yeah, Pokemon, like Kanto, Kanto region, but with the Unova Pokemon. Now, if you guys remember, I did play Pokemon Black, finished it completely, and uh, I, I, I could say this, that, you know, one of my biggest beefs, and I, I get why they did it, but my biggest beef was, uh, yeah, the, 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 they started all over by having us choose uh, regional Pokemon, and that, you know, of course, happened to be Unova Pokemon. And I guess this is the, I guess this is like, like, the inspiration for this game right here. So, let's see, look at that. Tepig looking pretty cool. We got some attacks. 35 experience points before we get to level 7. So, I'm only assuming that this game is going to be just like Pokemon Red Blue. So, we're going to play it like such. And, well, most of the Pokemon here have been exchanged for, you know, you know in Pokemon. As you can see, we got a P-Dove the regional bird Pokemon right here, and well, we're just gonna be, you know, tackling and attacking all that stuff, look at that, and here comes that gust attack, holy bejeebus, so, in, I'm going to have to, I'm, 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 like, there will be, well, let's see, how can I put it, like, I am going to try and pick a nice team, a nice team of Pokemon that I probably haven't used in Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Black, uh, Shoot, will that will that exclude them to Pokemon Black and White 2 whenever I play it? I don't know, maybe. I don't know, just give me an idea of how to play it. Uh, will there be new moves or anything like that? I don't know, probably. And, well, here we have another Pokemon attack, and look at that, we got a Patrat right here. Okay, alright, so we're looking at some new Pokemon, that's cool. And, well, let's see, Patrat going with a Tackle attack right here, so let's go Oinkinator. Finish him. As you can 
can see, Oinkinator's not taking any crap now. The other thing, too, is will Oinkinator, or Tepig, uh, eventually use its, uh, what was it, its second typing in this game. And look at that, we got ourselves the Ember Attack, which is great. And, well, let's move up to Viridian City. And, yes, we are getting attacked by Pokemon like nobody's business. Eventually, guys, I'm going to, you know, edit out the, the Pokemon attacks and all that stuff. I won't be editing out the, the Pokemon of importance, like, you know, probably legendaries. Um, Pokemon that I would be, uh, would be capturing for a team. You know, that kind of stuff. And, well, look at this. Patrat is uh, burnt and everything, so here we go again with another Ember attack. For the win, say goodbye. Alrighty, okay. Now, there's another cool thing about this game, too, especially now. So, I've always had issues with trying to, you know, get the colored version of Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, uh, and Pokemon Brown as well, and it took me, jeebus criminy, it took me like, well, it took one video for me to actually figure it out, and it was so simple that I, I just like, you know, slap my, uh, or I facepalm myself, because, like, seriously, it was just one settings change, and that's it, I mean, Holy crud. Holy crud. Now, here we are, Trainer Tips. Uh, the battle moves are... Okay, so it's the same thing right here, guys. So it's a Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. Uh, let's see. Now, yeah, I was facepalming myself. Told myself that really one little change and bam. Yeah, it could have been fixed like that. So eventually, as many of you guys already know, my Pokemon Red, Blue, unnarrated versions that was done by Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Adventures HD, they will be changed up and they will be in color. So hopefully we'll get to that somewhere along the lines and all that stuff so there we go we got ourselves an oaks parcel and well if you know if memory serves me correctly i can't pass this guy because he's a little drunk and well let's see there's one more thing that i need to get before you know finishing off this whole thing right here and that is there's a hidden item right there and yes we have found a potion like i said guys this game uses the pokemon red blue yellow motor and all the sprites have been changed to Pokemon from the Unova region. Now, I'm going in this game blind, so I don't know. I don't know what's ahead. I don't know if Pokemon, uh, if Team Rocket's still in here, or if they changed Team Rocket. I haven't watched any walkthroughs. Actually, speaking of walkthroughs, okay? So, looking up this game as a walkthrough, I've only seen challenges, and I think... You know, I think this is supposed to be a challenge game or something like that, but I'm making it into a walkthrough because, you know, hack games, all that stuff. You know, feel my section right here. Uh, yeah, so I think I'm, like, the very first channel to go with, like, a full-on walkthrough right here. So correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Comment down below if, I, if I'm wrong right here. So as you can see, Professor Oak's looking at us. Got ourselves a Parcel, which is great. And, yes, it's the custom Pokeball, and, well, Gary comes in kind of like that. Alrighty, so yes, he called Gary, and yes, alright, we had a request for you, and this right here is when we get the Pokédex, so let's go ahead and just, like, have him talk. Many of you guys already know, i played this game plenty of times, and I am a sucker for Generation 1 because it is the first generation I started at with my Pokémon Adventures, and, you know, you know, seeing Unova Pokémon in this game, it's just, you know, it was a must it was a must play right here. So yes, get moving you two, uh, this is a great undertaking in the Pokemon history. And well, Gary, being Gary, telling us, yeah, he's gonna tell us this not to give us a map, so yeah, Gary, I'm flipping you off, man, I'm gonna beat you just like I beat you in Pokemon Yellow, excluding the first loss and all that stuff. So this was the first episode, guys, stay tuned in the next one, we are gonna be going through a lot of stuff, trust me, this is gonna be a short, short walkthrough. And hopefully this is, uh, you know, as, as successful as the other hack games that I have planned for this summer. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next.